I, I'm Vivian Lin. Um, I'm the artist who made Garden Gates behind me. Um, it refers, to, the word garden refers actually to a garden. I just finished a garden before I made this work. Um, and my interest in mythology uh, straddled both those works. Uh, but this one um, also has the spelling G-U-A-R-D-E-N, uh, Gates, so there are other implications. The work uses steel tubular and mesh gates, which are part of the vernacular in New Zealand, and hair, human hair, which is real, and synthetic hair. The work is a narrative. It's a journey, uh, a physical journey and a metaphysical journey. I use the materials in a way where they embody mythological, psychological, sexual, um, social and political aspects of my experience. I had actually been on a quest looking for myths, n not to bring them back and make them function again, but to look at, try to see if there were other aspects of the female that were um, that were understood that were n not just about the mother and child, not just the fertility aspect of women. I wanted, I thought it, there must be something out back there. I think I was on the second to last work when I found the Sumerian myth about Inanna, Queen of Heaven, and Arishkagal, Queen of the Underworld. These two names are the upper world and the lower world names for the same person. There are hundreds of myths, literally hundreds of myths from the ancient world, from prehistory, and they deal with this idea of going into the underworld, um, having confrontations and surviving. But this particular one was interesting because of the seven gates, which I'd already chosen, and particularly because each gate, each encounter that Inanna had with the, what I'm, I'm going to call the unconscious, was like a little death. I'm not saying there's a solution, by the way, here in this work. I don't actually make works that present solutions. I'm more interested in work that is, um, it's just presenting a, 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 a particular position.